What I point out to people now is walk in there with a differential, do your ultrasound exam, and you can walk out of the room and say, I've just crossed off six, seven, eight things, and you did it in a couple of minutes. That is real powerful technology. My name is Tom Cook. I'm an emergency physician. I practice in South Carolina. I work with a big hospital organization called Prisma Health. We're also affiliated with the University of South Carolina. I've been there for 26 years after leaving the military after a 10-year stint. And um, 21 years ago, I took over the residency program as their program director. And so I've been doing that uh, for the last couple of decades. And um, I got involved with ultrasound as soon as I arrived in South Carolina 26 years ago. Just been fascinated with every realm of the technology. I built a company in the late 90s which taught ultrasound. Uh, we've been uh, all over the world. We've run over 1,500 courses. We've taught over 25,000 healthcare providers. Various flavors, whether it's uh, physicians, uh, nurse practitioners, PAs, EMS personnel, uh, medical students, you name it. The idea of delivering the best patient care is trying to figure out the most efficient and safe way to get from the patient tells you what their problem is to figuring out a management strategy to help them. And if you think about how we did things before we had ultrasound, um, it really was quite a bit more of a guessing game. We could come up with a differential and we would try and eliminate the possibilities in that differential based on a variety of different laboratory studies and physical findings. What I point out to people now is walk in there with a differential do your ultrasound exam and tell me how many different things you just crossed off the list that could be bothering or affecting this patient. You know, an example would be a patient comes in with chest pain and shortness of breath. Of course, a very common complaint. And you walk in the room and you do a cardiac ultrasound. And immediately can say, does this guy have heart failure, pericardial effusion, pulmonary embolus, valvular problem? Or you examine the lungs and say, do they have pulmonary edema, pleural fusions? Um, is there a concern at the aortic root, like maybe they have some sort of dissection? All these things, and you can walk out of the room and say, I've just crossed off six, seven, eight things, and now that differential, which may be at around 12 or 13 possibilities, you've whittled it down to three or four things you have to do. And you did it in a couple of minutes. And uh, that is real powerful technology. And it improves uh, not only just quality, but efficiency, how many patients you can see, how many patients you can move through your department. Everything about this device really made a huge improvement, even over the last generation. The size of it, how easy it is to hold, how easy it is to use when you examine patients. It stays clean. You can put it in your pocket. It doesn't feel uh, cumbersome, particularly in a lab coat. If it gets real dirty, it's very easy. You can just wash it off. I mean, there's so many really positive things about it. It's nice just to click into the charger and you can pick that off in 30 or 40 minutes. I just set my watch and I go fetch it in you know 30 or 40 minutes and it's ready to go again for really, I charge it once probably every four or five days and it works because most of your ultrasound exams are a couple of minutes. So it really works well. It seems to automatically shut down really easily so it doesn't burn up the battery. Right from the beginning, Clear has always had a, a really good image and, and some of the best images. Image quality is the thing that really sort of drives people to enjoy this a lot. You don't always need the greatest image in the world to do what you do, but it sure is nice to have it. And with challenging patients, um, it, and there's a lot of them in my particular specialty, and there is in all of healthcare, image quality is, is critical for being able to complete an examination and make an appropriate decision. I had another handheld device which you know had a wire to it and I've worked with several handheld devices that have wires to it and what you discover after a while is it's kind of a pain in the ass just think of all the times that um, you know you had to hook say your computer to the internet or anything else that you use wires for you get tired of them and particularly in a, my environment the emergency department um, they get dirty and they kind of fall out of your lab coat and they break and a whole bunch of other things which um, really just don't make them very user friendly. And so the wireless component, component again, makes it just a lot easier and a lot cleaner uh, and much more easy to carry around and use.